happy Easter and also uh, it's a good Friday in it which means our Lord Jesus died on the cross for us for t today 2018 years ago roughly so uh, be blessed in the name of our Lord Jesus man uh, this is a very very quick one man I, I got woken up prematurely like you know <clears throat> I mean I didn't wake up of my own natural accord like you know flipping I'm so tired right now struggling really just to keep my eyes open so I'm gonna go back to bed in a minute but this is very very quick um, I had a dream last night <clears throat> of just war it's gonna be a world war it is it was a world war I was looking at a world war and I saw like a picture of, like a of a a map of all the countries around the world you know like Carol Barrow how you doing man you all right <laughs> I saw a picture of a uh, like a global map and it was all the core countries like the major countries were at war and um, you know, it's funny, I've noticed in some of these, like, dreams about uh, World War Three. it's not every single country. You know, one would automatically assume that it's every single country at war. It's not. It, but it's all the major core countries that will be at war. Um, but if you're in one of these countries that's not actually participating in this World War, uh, you're still very, very aware that there is a World War going on. And... Um, you, you also know that, uh, I don't know the exact number, but you, you're aware that countless thousands, hundreds of thousands have already died, you know, and that's where it was in that dream last night. And things aren't the same, you know, it's like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, electricity hard to come by, you know, running water from a tap hard to come by, um, like, it's like just complete fallout, man. Like nothing's the same. Just, just complete destruction everywhere, and you're you're basically just trying to survive, man. Uh, and you're aware that the whole world is at war, and it's it's just destruction and and debris everywhere, and uh, chaos, and it's like it's like being plummeted back into the Stone Age, man. You know, and it's truly terrible. I'm looking this way because I'm thinking I'm doing this live rather than pre-recorded, like, you know. Um, yeah, total destruction, man. And at night, when it's night time, it really is dark. You know, it's like you ain't got lights to turn on in it. It's just, it's awful. It's like in, in World War Two. if you look back on World War Two, I remember when my grandmother was alive and my mum's side of the family, she used to say, because she was alive in World War Two. I think she was in her 20s or something, she used to say they used to go into the underground, so in London, you know, do a bit of re look it up yourself, like you know. And they used to hide in the um, the undergrounds. And she was saying about rationing food out and stuff, like you know. And it's crazy that she actually experienced that. I mean, but she's passed on now, and she wasn't a Christian, unfortunately. It was, it sucks and it's upsetting. But I remember her talking about that. But you know, like praying, like when I was praying about it months and months ago, or whatever it was, or a year ago or so. It, it's going to be exactly the same for us guys. When World War Three kicks off, we're literally going to be hiding in the undergrounds and all sorts of places, like you know. Um, but anyway, yeah. So this dream, it was like a like a world map, and all the major core countries were were fighting in this world war, and um, <clears throat> yeah. And whether you were in a country that wasn't fighting in it or not, you knew there was a world war going on. You you, you couldn't deny it, man. It was bad, real bad, total destruction everywhere. Uh, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. Really, really bad, man. And so this is coming. All right. So you need to be prepared for this. You know, as you know, it's not just World War. There's, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming, man, and happening. It's going to be really bad. You need to be prepared. All right. So, like I said, this video is a very short video. But I'm sharing it with you. You know, and guys, like I get, I get dreams. I get a lot of these dreams. Quite a lot. But I don't always share them because I, I consider them to be so short that I think, well, how can I possibly tell you it and explain it? It's, it would go on for about a minute. I mean, so far, this has gone on for four minutes, 39 seconds, so it's not too bad, really. But I thought, you know, I've got to be, uh, I've got to share this. You know, it's not something that I can hold on to myself. Whether you talk about it for half an hour or talk about it for a minute, it still needs to be shared, like, you know. So I'm sharing with you. Hope you guys are well, Carol, Jordan, you are Luke, how you doing mate? Um, yeah, so 
just sharing it with you and that's that so pray about it weigh it up with the bible for yourself and make sure you're prepared first of our lord jesus and then uh, physically prepare if you're a part of a community please take it seriously if you're not a part of a community then the link for that will be in the description in a minute um you know and, and guys don't don't wait i know i'm not saying that you are but don't wait until these times come to prepare it's the worst possible thing you can do you know don't leave it to the last minute like prepare now right the better we prepare now the better off we will be then right and like like i've said before uh sudden destruction like you know you know you, you don't want to be like running around like a blue ass fly excuse my language if that if you consider that to be language <laughs> You don't want to be panicking like the unsaved who weren't prepared for this on the last minute, running around trying to get food and all the rest of it and trying to work out where you're going to go. You want to have all this set in place ready now that when that time comes you can just go, yeah, it's okay, grab my gear, grab my stuff, off to my location, sorted. You know what I mean? So, yeah, please, please prepare. And I know, I know a lot of this now, like, <clears throat> a lot of us watch these videos on YouTube and stuff and we've heard it so many times. It's like the, the boy cried wolf situation, like, you know? You hear it so many times, and when, when the real deal actually kicks off, you've got such a laid-back approach about it that, you know, you won't realise it until it's upon you. And, and then you're going to be screwed, man. So, you know, so like I say, you know, take one day out, one day, sit down, put some plans in place, plan where you're going to go, grab some food, water supplies, have a plan in place, sorted. You know what I mean? And make sure we're in right standing with our Lord. Uh, daily repentance, daily submission, alright? Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go. But uh, just one last thing. Um, there was a lady called Maria Hillier. And she used to comment on a lot of these videos for a couple of years. And she's from Birmingham in the UK. And I read your comments sometimes. And I've noticed that Maria Hillier hasn't commented for a while. And I'm just a little bit concerned about her. If any of you know, do you know her? Is she okay? Like, you know, I understand that people come and go. People, you know, one minute will watch the videos and the next minute won't watch the videos. But Maria was uh, following this channel for, like, you know, a good bulk of the two years. And she saw me go through, like, the highs and the lows of life type thing. And um, she was always there commenting. And, and I, I think she's uh, an older lady. And I'm just a little bit concerned about her. I hope that she's okay. So if, if any of you know her or know of her, uh, I just want to know if she's okay, really. And I hope that you guys are also okay. And I also apologise that I'm not the best of keeping up to messaging you back. You know, I'm, I'm pretty terrible at it. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm just not great with it. So I, yeah, I apologise. I really am sorry about that. Uh, but I'll, I'll try my best from now on, like, you know, what I'm saying is, is I genuinely do think about you guys, and, you know, I, I hope that you're alright, do you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm not great at replying, are you? So I'm really sorry. Anyway, I hope you're well. So that's, that's this it, really. I'm just going to read your comment, uh, Carol. <clears throat> uh, well, we are not given the timing of everything, but we're all getting very similar instructions. That's exactly it. So uh, nobody knows when all this is going to happen. Like there's, like there's been no dates. I've never been given a date to any of this stuff coming. But we know the season. Um, but like the, I believe the Lord saying to me over and over and over again, we must prepare. We must prepare. You know, like really physically prepare the best that you possibly can. But Carol, you're you're a real blessing to the communities, mate, for what you're doing. You know, so bless you, mate. You know, um, Carol's really helping the communities. And, and you guys also, you know, so thank you for being here and let's just continue to be here for each other and make sure we put our Lord first and we'll be alright, alright, and I uh, love you too man, I <laughs> love you guys too, like you know, um, yeah, so I don't really tend to do these live videos much anymore because the reason I don't is I, uh, I freak out, like what if I say the wrong thing, I'm very aware that I'm going to have to give an account for every single one of these videos uh, before our Lord and Judgment Day, and it, it gravely concerns me, what if I make a mistake, what if I say the wrong thing, you know what I mean, so if you do that in a pre-recorded video, 
you can watch over it and edit it out and think about it and pray about it before you put it onto YouTube, but live, you can't. Once you've said it, you've said it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's why I try to stay clear of them, like, you know, but sometimes they're all right. Just got to think before I speak. Anyway, so last time, there's going to be a world war. World War Three is coming. All the major core countries will be involved in it. The countries that won't be involved in it will still be aware that there's a world war. And there are going to be a lot of people losing their lives. We're going to be without electricity, water, and all the usual things that we're used to, going down the shop, buying food. Basically, like, plummeted into the Stone Age. There's going to be destruction and debris everywhere. It's going to be a sort of, like, darkness across the place. It's, it's going to be truly awful. This is coming. Make sure you're prepared for it. And I'm prepared with our Lord. All right? Sweet. God bless you guys. I'll see you again soon. You be safe, man. Over and out. And I love you guys. You be safe.